Good morning. We're looking at example two, demand price from two points, named cells, out of section 6.1, evaluating and graphing functions of several variables out of business calculus with Excel. We look to compute revenue from two demand price points. We want to find the slope in the intercept of the demand price curve. Then with the new, we want to compute a new demand, compute the price and the revenue, and we'll look at using name cells to make things easier to understand. If I just want to set up the initial problem, I'm going to go to show formulas, and I see that slope of the demand curve is going to be rise over run, so it's going to be change in price over change in demand. We have that. The intercept is I then take my favorite price and subtract from it the slope times the demand. New demand is a new value of a function I'm going to add in. I plug that into the equation, slope intercept form. That will give me a price, and then price times quantity is revenue. So this gives me an easy way, if I take these points, to compute revenue and price at a new demand, having computed the demand slope and the demand intercept first. Trying to understand it and have formulas that I come back to it's useful instead of just doing the cells like I've done to instead do the named cells and here I've got names for the cells when I picked a cell that had a number in it I changed the name of the cell so I could refer to it as B1 or I can simply refer to it as demand 1 and B2 is then price 1, D1 is demand 2, and D2 is price 2. So this makes it easy to see my demand slope is the change in price over the change in demand. The demand intercept is the price minus the demand times the demand slope, and the new price is going to be the demand slope times the new demand plus demand intercept. And the revenue is simply the new demand times the new price. So this gives me the same answers, but it has formulas that were written as na long names. So if I come back to this a month or two later, it's pretty easy to understand what's being computed in each of these. Recall that part of Excel is building templates that I can come back to at some point later.